Yellow is just uh, uh, the, uh, the national regulations put in place to regulate the operations of media houses. It connects the media industry with the government to work together because media is put in place in the government to show the media how it should work for government to allow it to remain operating. The entry it gives the journalists responsibilities or being responsible to serve the public safely because it acts as uh, guidelines on how the public should be served safely without being harmed or being provoked by irresponsible journalism. It will give journalists themselves confidence because will be knowing the legal boundaries within which they should operate in order to remain safe and to remain not being intimidated because by then they will be understanding the laws within which they should operate. Journal is not just simply sitting down and you do work. It is probably part of activism, activism in various ways because if you look at the journal itself, it's all about uh, getting information people need and want, you process, you put it back to public to benefit them in various areas such as in educating them, in sensitizing, in mobilizing, and so on. So it is something that is active in terms of operationalization. Journalism as a profession what is meant to link up government and public in terms of sharing information. The government is about to use the media to inform public and public is about to use the media to inform government about their challenges. So government gives policy to the public through media. So it's not risky. So but only that it can only be risky if it operates within the dictatorial government. Why? Because dictatorial government does not want to expose its weaknesses, its ill acts. When journalists expose them, they feel they are becoming enemies and they have to work on them negatively. But in a democratic society, journalism is enjoyable, safe, hmm? and safe and crucial in leading government to the public. In which way? Because good government, we want the journalists to be there to inform the public what they are doing, their popularity, their good plans, so that it can be popular among people. But bad government will not like journalism. That's why it becomes a risk. When we talk of dictatorial government, what you have to look at hmm, are two things. One, is government operating for the good of society, that's why. Two, are they putting in place good laws to protect people and the efficiency of journalism? If the answer is no, then it's yes. Because a good government will put in place good laws to protect people and journalism operations. Hmm? Dictatorial government will not only dictate bad policies, but also put in place bad laws. Not only to violate people's rights, but also to oppress journalism and its operations, as well as to oppress people in the interest of the what? Of the leadership. One of the challenges is that the ignorance of society we write the media law. Because the word media law gives the journalists total freedom to operate as long as they are not breaking those laws. Hmm? Take pictures in public places, expose both positive and negative information, including weaknesses of government and their ill acts. Hmm? exposing both positive and negative activities among people. But the problem is one, people who are engaged in negative activities, robbery, corruption, scandals, theft, murder cases, 
No? They feel they should not be exposed. But by law, they have to be exposed for legal authorities to notice and take legal action. But whenever they notice that chances are going to expose them, if they have mandated they take actions to work against that, including kidnapping journalists, intimidating them, sometimes murdering them. That is one of the challenges, the ignorance of the law. If you go in the developed world, they have embraced journalism, because they know that without journalism, then the government cannot operate effectively. Why? That is, those are the, the avenues through which they can reach public and uh, disseminating their programs, good policies for people to implement. Hmm? But the challenge you have in the developing world, we still have the tendency of government trying to govern in terms of in terms of uh, what we may call uh, what we may what we may call uh, immature democracy. Hmm? Themselves, they are not confident of themselves, but they still believe in giving people misperceptions that they are doing well, and they don't want people to be informed on realities, how they should be governed, the weaknesses of government, and at the end of the day, you find such a kind of bad governments, painting bad image journalists, and at the end of the day, people feel that it's not a good profession, but it's one of the best in areas of benefiting public in regard to positive information, which they actually need to transform themselves.